Are you struggling to make multiple sortable headings? Leave the chaos behind and say hello to this time-saving technique to quickly and effectively sort multiple columns in Excel. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video, I'll be showing you two ways to make multiple sortable headings in Excel. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the product sales dataset, which contains the product names, quantity, followed by unit price, and lastly, the total price columns. Here, we want to make multiple sortable headings using Excel's filter and sort features. We can use Excel's built-in filter option to sort individual column headers. I'll select the dataset from B4 to E17 range, then I'll click the Data tab. In the Sort and Filter section, you'll find the Filter option. You can also press Ctrl plus Shift plus L shortcut keys. This inserts the filter icon beside every column header. If I click the filter icon, we can see various options. We can sort the values from smallest to largest, largest to smallest. We can sort by color. We can also filter the numbers based on certain criteria. For now, I'll just sort the numbers from smallest to largest. There you go. This is how you can use the filter feature to make multiple sortable headings. In the second method, I'll show you how you can sort multiple headings or apply multi-level sorting using Excel's sort feature. To do this, I'll select the dataset from B4 to E17 range, then click the data tab. Just like before, I'll go to the sort and filter section and choose the sort option. This opens up the sort dialog box. Here, make sure to check my data has headers option since the first row contains column headers. In the sort dialog box, we can add, delete, or copy levels. If I click the options button, we can set the orientation for sorting. If our data set is oriented along the rows, then we have to sort from left to right. In contrast, if our data set is oriented along the columns, which is true in our case, then we'll have to sort from top to bottom. So I'll click on OK to stick with the default selection. Now if I click on the drop down beside sort by, we can see all our column headers. I'll choose the product column. For the sort on field, if I click the drop down, I can see a list of options like cell values, cell color, font color, conditional formatting icon. So based on these options, we can sort our values. I'll stick with cell values. Lastly, for the order dropdown, we can specify ascending order or descending order, or we can also choose a custom order. I'll stick with A to Z ascending order. Now if I click on the add level button, we can add another level of sorting. Click the drop down. This time I'll choose the quantity column. I'll stick with cell values. If I click on the order, I can see smallest to largest, largest to smallest and custom order. I'll stick with smallest to largest. In a similar way, I'll add the other two columns. We can also select a sorting level and press delete level button to remove it. Lastly, I'll click on OK and we can see that Excel has sorted all the column headings starting from the product column, then successively sorting the quantity and unit price columns. If we examine the quantity column, we can see the values do not necessarily appear in the smallest to largest order. If you are a bit confused, then let me explain this a bit. But first, I'll have to bring up the sort dialog box. During sorting, we entered the product column first. So, the product column gets precedence over all the other columns. Therefore, based on the product column, the values in the quantity and unit price columns are sorted from smallest to largest. In this demonstration, I have shown you two useful methods to make multiple sortable headings in Excel. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement and convenience. 
Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye.